Hello everybody and welcome to Chaco Draws. This is the Chaco Draws for Kyra Barrels. I don't know why I said her full name. Maybe we don't say Bill's full name, I don't think. But uh, if you're wondering why this one came out before PAL, it's because I'm an idiot and somehow messed up the footage of that one. Uh, like, I guess while I was drawing it, I pressed the stop recording button in the middle of me coloring it. So, the video is incomplete. And I didn't know that while editing, so I was like, why is it just stopping at this one point? I don't understand what's going on. Then I checked the video, and I was just like, oh. It actually does just stop at that point. So, I'm an idiot. And somehow, the, like, I, I actually managed to break the streak of actually having all the characters on my channel. I won't have Pal on it now, because I'm stupid. But, beyond, besides the point of my stupidity, I really like the outcome of these two. Like... They look a lot younger than they did before, like... Oh, I guess Kyra's always look good, but she looks much younger now. Pal looks younger. He looks a lot smoother, too. And a lot more angsty anime, I guess. But, uh, since this video is about, uh, Kyra, I'll start talking about Kyra instead of Pal, because, you know, I'm just, I'm, apparently I'm just never gonna talk about Pal. <laughs> He's a mystery to everyone now, because I fucked up. Language, believe me. Um... But, I'm not sure if anyone noticed this, because, like, from what I've seen, no one noticed it. Uh, Kara actually, like, I designed her to be a lot chubbier. Well, not a lot chubbier, but pretty much, pretty chubby. Pretty chubby in this new design. And the reason for that was, she was originally supposed to be chubby. And I got rid of that. Like a jerk. And... You might be wondering why I'm saying, like a jerk. It's because there's not a lot of, like, you know like, rounded characters in, um, like, cartoons these days, especially, like, like, in fe to the female characters. And Kyra was supposed to be like that, but then I was like, oh, she does parkour. That wouldn't make sense for her to be fat. But one day, I was sitting down, like, I think it was the day before I started doing, uh, Pal and Kyra's, or, like, a few hours before. I was sitting down and just drawing the comic or something, because I saw my cat running around, playing around and stuff, and jumping on everything, and I was just like, this is BS. Because, like, my cat is very fat. He's not incredibly fat. He's, like, pretty fit fat, but he's he's fat. And he's able to jump around and everything. Cats are able to do that. Why can't Kyra be able to do that? And, like... Well, you guys probably noticed that I made Kyra pretty slim. Like, it's very apparent in, um, First Time Fighter and, uh... Well, the, like, part of the, uh, Dance with the Little Shields in. Far slimmer. Far slimmer. But, um, I think she might be shorter, too. I'm not sure. Well, now she might be shorter. Back, like, during First Time Fighter, she, I think she was taller than Ken. And she's supposed to be taller than Ken. I'm pretty sure. But just in this drawing, she looks pretty short. But, um, yeah. So, she got, she's chubbier again. She's not very much chubbier, but she's pretty chubbier. Like, I obviously couldn't make it too much chub. But, like, I mean... You know, I actually want to start drawing round characters more often, and I shouldn't be so, like, negative about it. I actually figured that, like, noticed that. Like, first, like, I noticed that because, like, you know, my cat. Then, or no, it wasn't, like, that my cat... Yeah, it was... It was original. The first thing I saw, saw that made me notice that was that I had... Um, I was on Tumblr, like, I rarely am. I'm rarely on Tumblr, but, like, uh, I occasionally, like, log into that and check that out. Um, you know, I saw a post from, like, a post about a tweet, like, a couple tweets that, uh, the, create, the storyboard artist for Steven Universe, um, he tweeted, like, a bunch of stuff, like, I had to teach myself how to, like, draw colored characters, I had to teach myself how to, how to draw not perfect characters, rounded characters, and stuff like that, and I thought to myself, well, I'm really good, I, that's not really in terms of me, I don't have to do that, I'm really good at drawing multiple races of characters, and I am, there's, tons of races of characters, even characters that are mixed with other races. Even the animal races are mixed with other animal races. And then I was like, and I have rounded character. I don't have rounded... I, mm, yeah, and then I was just like, oh, I don't have any rounded characters. I'm probably the problem. And I did completely do that to Kyra, where I slimmed her down. And, like, made her, like, like more attractive, I guess. I don't know. 
Not as much attack today as my Anto characters, because, again, I'm not furry, I don't, I don't know. I just make it so that the characters can be seen as attractive to the characters in the comic. I don't really understand that, like, the Anthro attractive thing still. But I do respect it. I have a lot of respect for these people. Nice people. And I actually like their artwork. It's really nice artwork. But, um, I don't often, I hate that people pick on them. stupid. They're those people. But, uh, I don't know how this got to a furry discussion. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I don't actually remember what I was talking about. But yeah, like, Carol's always supposed to be, like, very, like, a not perfect girl. She's very chubby, very clumsy. Despite being able to climb very well, very clumsy. Uh, very nerdy and very, like, very stuck on her own opinions. Like, you'll see that later. It becomes very apparent in the comics. But, um, yeah. Not very good at much, really. But uh, she gets better, in, like mainly just in terms of fighting. She gets, she learns how to fight later on. But uh, she's not completely helpless or anything like that. But uh, yeah, she's never, she, yeah, she was never meant to be like a perfect, attractive character. Like I was starting to make her out to be. I didn't completely do it, but I was starting to do it. Like. Yeah, I was worried about that, like, when I start, because, like, that was the whole reason she originally just had a, just a sweater and pants, is because, like, she didn't really care, she was just kind of a very character, you couldn't tell her apart from, like, side, well, I mean, you could, but, like, in, in their world, you wouldn't be able to tell her apart from the crowd of people, she just looked like a normal person. I gave her a more stylish outfit later on, because I was just like, you know, she's a main character, I should probably give her some, a better outfit and stuff like that. But, um... Uh, but, 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 Yeah, I was starting to worry that, like, I was making her out to be too attractive, because even in her new outfit, she wears a skirt now. Or, like, a long It's actually a long sweater. It's a long sweater. Like, a cardigan? Is that what that's called? I don't know. But she wears leggings. And that's that in, in itself is weird for Anthro, because it's just like, why would an Anthro wear leggings? Like, that would probably feel horrible... I don't actually know why I drew it like that, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, my excuse, especially for her character with such curly um, fur, yeah, I don't know why I gave her leggings, but uh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that there was some, they've gone around that problem in the nowadays version of their world, like where leggings are not a problem to anthro people, because I assume they would've been. Bean? Then I turned, like, European all of a sudden, what, where, where did that come from? <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, this is getting a little... I even started getting rid of her glasses. Like, in a lot of drawings, like, I stopped drawing her glasses, and that's like a no. That's that's the whole, like, when Stacy's, like, situation where, like, in Spectacular Spider-Man, where they had to get rid of her glasses. And I was just like, oh, she's so much harder now. Stop it. You can't do that. She has glasses. I was considering giving her contacts at some point. Because honestly, that's a far smarter thing to do if you're in dangerous situations like she is occasionally. But yeah, and she also does parkour, so why the hell is she wearing glasses? Honestly, it'd be more logical for her to not wear glasses. But you know what? It's part of the character design. And it's also very ironic because she's a cat that can't see well. It's really sad when you think about it. Uh, yeah. There's actually a few things that I never actually got to mention about Kyra that, like, Kyra is actually, like, a vegan, as, like, was shown in the Thanksgiving thing, or the Turkey Day uh, drawing. She was eating a carrot. But uh, she's a vegan, so that's another thing that's, like, just, like, what are you doing? But, yeah, she's a very, she's a very, just, like, I don't want to say pathetic, because then it makes it sound bad, but it's just, like, she's not, she's just a very awkward character. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I have. Uh, time to talk to you about now, and that's all I really need to talk to, you, I think. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, Chanko draws, except for the one for Pal, because I ruined it, uh, in the uh, <laughs> playlist in my channel. Uh, I don't care about you, like, commenting, subscribing, because I'm not a YouTuber, and I'm not about that. You came here to watch the video, you did it. You probably liked it if you got this far. Or unless you didn't, and I was just like, oh, you know, that kind of sucks. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one that isn't pals. Bye bye. Um, I did that way too early. Whoops.
time goes by slowly when you're doing the chocolate draws. Yeah.